I've edited a lot of podcasts, probably hundreds. I thought I was a pretty good editor, filtering out that background noise, making the voice sound crispy, all that good stuff. It turns out I'm decent, but nothing compared to AI. It is what it is at this point, you know? AI might be doing everything we do except better, but at least it's making our lives more convenient. So today I'm going to talk about Alphonic. I've been using it for all my podcast episodes, video recordings, anything with voice in it that you want to make sound better in every possible way, whether it's cleaning out some of the noises in the background, just making it sound warm and better overall. Alphonic, something that will really impress you. So before I started about a couple minutes ago, I did a quick 10 second recording of my voice. Obviously, I'm using a pretty good mic, so that's always your starting point. Use the best mic you can. This is a good XLR dynamic microphone, so it's going to sound pretty decent. But if you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to hear the background noise in this recording, as well as some of the breathing noises. This mic's really sensitive to like mouth and breathing noises from me, especially because I don't have any type of like windscreen on it. Let's go ahead and take a listen to this. I thought I could edit podcasts, but it turns out I'm a fraud. AI will always be better than humans. This is just the beginning. Okay, now if, like I said, if you're wearing headphones, you could definitely hear the noise and some of my breathing noises and even like little noises that my mouth is making that I don't want in the final recording. Obviously, you could test this with the noisiest recording you can imagine, and I think you'll be impressed as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at Alphonic and the actual process. So when you go to their website, this is the first thing you see. Your AI sound engineer for videos, audiobooks, podcasts, all that good stuff. Now by default, you'll have to create an account, which is free. You have two hours free each month. So you might get away with not being able to pay. But if this is something you're going to be putting hours of recordings into, you're going to have to upgrade and we'll take a look at the pricing in just a minute. Let me go ahead and show you the process. So I'll click this, add my demo recording in. Now it wants me to select an algorithm. By default, it's on their voice cleaner, which keeps the speech and music and removes everything else. So it auto analyzes what's in the recording. If you have a barking dog in the back, it'll remove that, all that type of good stuff. And then it applies their auto EQ, which will just make it sound more professional, nice, warm. They have a few different presets here voice cleaner and it keeps the music voice cleaner it will remove any music it senses voice cleaner and remove breathings which i think from for my little 10 second recording probably sounds like the best one so we'll go ahead and just uh, use that and then we can start the processing so depending on how big your file is this will take a while since mine is 10 seconds we'll be done in just a few seconds now one more time we'll click This is what I input. This is the file I uploaded. I thought I could edit podcasts, but it turns out I'm a fraud. AI will always be better than humans. This is just the beginning. So you'll hear some of my mouth noises. You'll hear some breathing. You'll hear the the noise in the background. Now let's see what Alphonic did. I thought I could edit podcasts, but it turns out I'm a fraud. AI will always be better than humans. This is just the beginning. So pretty amazing. Obviously, no breathing noises, no background noise, just my voice, and not only my voice, how it sounds in the original recording, but also just sounds edited. It sounds more full, sounds warmer, you know, so they obviously added some type of EQ, and it's just that simple. I've put hours of podcast recordings in here. I've done multi-track recordings, so when there's multiple mics in one room and there's multiple people talking... You'll experience a lot of mic bleed, all that type of stuff. Alphonic does a great job at just analyzing, making everything sound the same, and making everything sound exactly how you would want it to sound. So if we want to get more intricate, we can go down here to edit production. And this is where you can actually edit, you know, what do you want on, what do you want off, and then you can fine tune some things. So what we're really looking at is their audio algorithms. So they have an adaptive leveler, which essentially tells you down at the bottom, Corrects level differences within one file between speakers, music, and speech to achieve a balanced overall loudness. So it's analyzing everything in your file, making everything the correct levels of volume that it needs to be. That you'll probably always want on. Filtering, there's two different options here. You have adaptive high-pass filtering and voice auto EQ. 
if you want your recording to sound basically how it went in, just without some of that background noise and stuff like that, you might choose the high pass filtering. The voice auto EQ is like I said, it adds a little bit of that warmth, that more of that professional sound. So I like to keep that on. That's more personal preference for you. Loudness normalization, you'll usually want to keep on. This basically takes your final file and elevates it to the kind of standard volume. With any of these settings, if you click this uh, menu icon, you'll be able to actually fine tune things. So as you can see, negative 16 is kind of the standard for podcasts. So I usually leave it at that. The one I've tinkered with the most is noise reduction, especially when I'm doing a multi-track production. Sometimes I don't need it to remove that much noise, especially when you're using a really good mic. You don't really have to remove that much noise. So I'll keep this maybe at low, medium, and high instead of the full, you know, noise reduction. That's personal preference. You'll be able to kind of tinker with it yourself. Remove reverb. If there's a lot of echo in the background of your recording, you definitely want to remove reverb. Sometimes you don't need it at full, like the same thing with noise. You'll be able to tinker with this and see what sounds better, how much you can get away with using or not. If there's breathing noises in your recording, clearly there was in this one. You would also want to keep this, but again, it lets you fine tune it. Low, medium, high, or anything in between. Once you're done with the settings, you can click save or start production. And it will kind of re-edit it in the background. So let's look at the pricing. Like I said earlier, you have two free hours per month. So depending on how long your recordings are, if you're only like a content creator and you're just throwing videos into it that aren't that long, you might be able to get away with just using their free plan. If you do want to upgrade, it gives you nine hours a month for $11 per month, and that's their yearly plan. So if you decide to just pay month to month, that is $13 per month. So this is the plan that I am currently on. It's met my needs pretty well for the past couple months. I usually don't do more than nine hours and it works out for me and I find the price reasonable for all the time that it's saving me. So depending on your needs, this is cheaper than what I would pay for, you know, Adobe Audition or something, which I was doing before and um, for a better result. So now that we've established the AI, um, more than likely edits vocals better than us, we can accept it and make use of it. And that's what I plan to do. So let me know what you think of Alphonic and I'll catch you in the next video.